Okay, sixth grade, today you're going to be dividing by a decimal number, and the page that I gave you has mostly dividing by a two-digit number on the outside, but there's always a decimal on the outside. The one thing you need to remember is that you have to make the number on the outside of the division box a whole number, and you do that by moving the decimal to the right, however many places it takes to make it a whole number. On the 0 0.25, you're going to have to move the decimal twice to make it a whole number. When we do that, we can just make it go away, make the decimal go away, and I can also just erase that zero to make it a 25. Now since I moved it twice right here, I come to the inside of the box and I have to move it twice here as well. Otherwise, it's not even. So I do that and then I move my decimal up. Remember, just like in regular dividing by decimals, or dividing decimal numbers, you have to deal with the decimals first. Once you have that done, your decimal's in your answer, you can move on and start dividing. Okay, so I'm going to erase this. I'll erase that decimal. And so I have 25 going into 57. That goes twice, which is 50. Subtracting, I get a 7. Drop my 5 down. And 25 goes into 75 three times. And that is even. So I am done. So the answer is 2.3. A thing that where people are going to make mistakes is not moving the decimal to the correct place. So make sure that you're moving it the same number of times on the inside that you had to on the outside. Looking at our other problem we have here, we have 1.4 into 5.04. In order to make the 1.4 a whole number, we've got to move it just one place to put it right there. That makes it a 14. So on the inside, we're going to take it from where it is and move it over one spot and make this 50.4. 50, 50 move it up like that, and then we'll start dividing. 14 goes into 50, and let's just try something out. Let's try 4, that's 16, and that is too big. So let's try it with 3. 4 times 3 is 12, and 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. So that's 42, so that'll work. And that was 3 times, so I'm going to put that above my 0. And 50 minus 42 is 8. Drop my 4 down. And 14 goes into 84. Let's give that a try. We know 4 was 56. So let's try 5, and that gives us, that's 20, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7, so maybe a 6. That's 24, 6 times 1 is 6, plus the 2 is 84, there we go. So put a 6 over the 4, and 84, subtract and I get 0, so your answer is 3.6. The other thing that we want to remember, I'm going to make one up here real quick, is, um, okay, the other thing that we want to remember is when we have, um, I'm going to write one with just a single digit, when we have a number and the um, inside number is not a whole number. So let's see, one, two, three, we'll just do that. Okay, or the inside number is a whole number, that's what I was trying to say. Um, but we have to move it because the outside is not a whole number. So we've got to move this one twice, and since we moved it twice, we're going to have to move it on the inside. But right now it's a whole number, so we know that the, that the decimal is supposed to be right there at the end, on the right side. We moved it over twice on the outside, so now we need to come in here and move it twice there. Move it up, and remember what goes in these empty places are zeros. That's very important. And then we just start dividing. 3 goes into 12 four times. That's 12, 0, drop my 3 down. And 3 goes into 3 one time, and that's 0. I have two more zeros here that come before the decimal, so those are very important to go ahead and put in your answer. So the answer there is 4100. And that's it. I don't think I need to do any more examples, but if anybody has a question, of course, you can send me an email using the Contact Me button on the right side of the block. I'll see you guys tomorrow.